This is an important question. We, uh, we did a meta-analysis on, on this uh, specific question. I think there is a lot of published data concerning treatment of EPO, single treatment without combination. There are not a lot of randomized trials, unfortunately, in the, for the combination. I think there is a one uh, randomized trial with not a lot of patients, but there was a good and a high significant additional activity if you use, low, uh, if you use EPO in low dose. So low dose means uh, it's about 20,000 units erythropoietin per week. And if you add on the top, on this, on this lower uh, dose of EPO, you add GCSF, there seems to be quite, uh, let's say, uh, there, is an, uh, there is an additional effect. But there is mainly no, uh, no trials, trials that do investigate the additional benefit of GCSF on high dose EPO. This means 60 to 80,000 uh, EPO equivalents per week. There, was, uh, there are only, uh, let's say, some, some non-randomized trials, retrospective investigations, and also uh, some, some uh, studies based on, um, on, 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 based on, 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 let's say, on cell lines, but there is no uh, really clear evidence if, addition, if there's additional benefit of GCSF on top of high dose ESA. So I don't think that uh, uh, there will be a major effect of course, we can try it. Some uh, some countries do not receive it, uh, but I think there's an importance that we we, we need additional uh, drugs that can be used for patients that are refractory to ESA. And again, with lusbatercept, probably also imetilstat, we will have some drugs that can be used for those patients that are not responding or get refractory to ESA at some point.